Tonight, we're hearing from the father of one of the two children who died in a house fire in Sewickley. KDK's Jennifer Barresso is live with the memories he's sharing of his young son tonight. Jen. Just so much pain, Ken. So as you can imagine, Jeremy Leitner, the father of Jack Wild, is inconsolable. He tells me he does not know how he's going to get over this tragedy. I don't want it to be true. I don't know, just... It is a very horrible feeling. I've cried so, so much. A father's anguish. Nothing's going to bring him back, obviously. But all I can do is just remember the boy he was. Jeremy Leitner still can't believe his six-year-old son, Jack, known to others as Wild, is really gone. He was the absolute greatest kid, best little boy I could have ever asked for. Wild and his nine-year-old sister, Lyric Keys, died tragically in a house fire in Swickley Tuesday. Leitner hadn't seen his son since he was two. I love my son. Like, I love my son more than words can express. He clings to these treasures, a framed birth certificate. Like, I was there when he took his, took his first breaths. Sweet memories. He's like my twin, you know. He was the happiest when I was around him. And keeping his son, who's named after his grandfather, close. I have his name tattooed on me. Leitner says he spent time with wild sister Lyric Keys when she was younger. They were great kids. They were extremely great kids. Lyric stab William Keys III, too distraught to talk, tells me he is heartbroken and that he would switch places with either of the children in a second if he could. The children's mom, Shelby, recovering in the hospital after suffering burns after jumping from the front porch roof. She posted on social media, her children were the greatest gift to anyone who met them. They both overcame so many struggles and hardships and remained the kindest little people you'd ever meet. Meantime, Leitner is completely broken. After all this, like, I, I hope that he didn't suffer. Like, I, I don't want him to, I hope that they just both of them, like, just went to sleep. Lyric's dad, William Keyes III, tells me he won't forget how her eyes lit up, skipping rocks or her first bite of peanut butter ice cream. Now, sources tell me there were no working smoke detectors, and they are looking at a questionable extension cord and a space heater as a possible source. Now, the nonprofit group here in Swickley Union and Society is collecting financial donations for the kids mom Shelby. You can go to our, our website kdk.com for a link on how you can donate to help. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.